This video has been like three months in the making, but even though this channel just recently restarted, I knew I had to make this my first video because I have a lot of things to say and all of them are bad. <laughs> What up my real is it's Stephen and welcome back to another video. I hope y'all are doing great So I have wanted to make this video for forever and now that it's only us here right now I think it would be good for you if I gave you my opinion on this Horrible movie. So as all of you probably know the Dear Evan Hansen movie the very highly anticipated Dear Evan Hansen movie Released in theaters in September of this year now before its release I was actually able to catch a free advanced screening of the movie Um, my film school like set it up and they like invited all of us if you wanted to come And of course I wanted to because I'm a huge um, Dear Evan Hansen fan I love the show ever since it premiered in 2016 if I remember correctly. Yeah, I've just been a huge fan of it since then all the songs are great and everything like that. I mean, it's not the best musical in the entire world, but it's certainly one of the more popular ones. And I knew when they announced the movie, even though it looked absolutely horrible, that I had to see it because maybe, you know, maybe critics were wrong. Maybe it doesn't suck. Maybe audiences were wrong. You know, maybe I'm actually gonna like it. But boy, Jesus, that was a bad movie. I felt like I wasted my time over there. I sat there in the dark for two hours, watching what was probably the worst thing my eyes have ever seen since Cats. This movie was so bad, I attended a free screening and asked for a refund. Ben Platt looked so old, the cast of Glee called him and was like, Hey, do you want to join us? This movie was literally the Dasani water of movies. It keeps getting shoved down our throat, even though nobody wants it. But to be fair, I actually felt pretty good. Like, when after I watched the movie, I have to admit, I felt pretty good because if shit like this gets made in Hollywood, then 100% whatever I create in the future is gonna get made in Hollywood. Now, I have a very, very unique perspective. I'm looking at this movie not with fresh eyes, but after three months of thinking about it and listening to the soundtrack and doing all of those things, I have come, like, it has all gestated in my body. And now I am ready to spew out to all of you why this movie is the fucking worst. Why this dumpster fire of a movie should have just not gotten made. Why the flaws of this movie are so glaringly obvious that I can't believe they actually released this sh Sorry for all the cursing, it's just that that's the only way I can express myself and the absolute disgust I feel. So for the rest of this video, I'm gonna go over the reason why this was literally the worst musical movie ever made. I think I listed about six reasons. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, I listed six reasons. So without further ado, let's get to the roasting. First of all, the direction was so bad. First of all, these people were not doing anything interesting. They were literally standing around singing. There was nothing creative about it at all. This movie had literally the most boring direction ever. All songs, except for Sincerely Me just had them standing around or sitting around and emoting and stuff. It was not dynamic in any sense of the word. It wasn't visually appealing in any sense of the word. It wasn't exciting. It, was, it didn't draw me into it. It was so flat and lifeless and boring. This movie had the excitement of watching grass grow. A pile of is more visually appealing than this movie because at least the pile of has color and depth. This movie had none of that. It was exactly like Riverdale, except that Riverdale knows it's bad and doesn't even try to be good. This, on the other hand, was just so god awful. And literally the only good part was Sincerely Me, which is a good segue into the next reason why this movie absolutely sucked. And that is the locations. All of them bland. Bland as hell. I mean, look at this. I mean, what the hell is up with that? They're like in some prison courtyard, which would be accurate because I did feel like a prisoner watching this movie. It felt like torture for two and a half hours. That's two and a half hours of my life I'm never gonna be able to get back. And literally, like I said, the colors didn't pop. Nothing popped. There was so much hype for this movie and it just fell flat on its damn face. Literally 
everything about it was visually unappealing. And the thing is, do you know, do y'all know how movies are made? This movie had to go through so many people. It went through everybody in production, it went through the entire marketing team, it went through the people at the studio, and nobody was able to catch that this is the most bland movie ever made. Nobody went, um, excuse me, this movie just absolutely sucks. Nobody thought of that, no one, really, in that case, all of y'all should be fired. You ain't doing your job. You were supposed to be able to tell if something sucks. Guess what? This sucked. You weren't able to tell. You have bad taste. Now we're gonna go to the topic, which is why this movie got so much bad publicity. And that is the subject of its protagonist, played by Ben frickin' Platt. I'm not even gonna get into how old he looked first, okay? First of all, let's talk about something. I wanna talk about something, okay? What the hell was up with the hair? Ben Platt's hair looked like a bowl of curly fries. It made him look like my grandma, except my grandma has less wrinkles. He just looked absolutely terrible in it, and they tried every which way to make him look younger, and it just did not work. The worst part is, he looked like a 40-year-old man kissing a 16-year-old girl. Like, I know their age difference is like just four years, but it gave off like Jake Gyllenhaal, Taylor Swift, all too well vibes. And not in a good way. This is the movie that pedophiles everywhere have been waiting for because it gives them an excuse to see an old ass man make out with a young 16 year old girl. Literally so disgusting. And come on, Ben Platt looked so old. I know Hollywood has a trend of making like really experienced actors play like high schoolers, but the girls in Pen15 were more realistic than whatever the hell Ben Platt was trying to do. Literally so god awful. How the hell this is exactly what happens when your dad is the producer, okay? This kind of nepotism that happens where you put your own interests instead of like putting the art first. Also, you had Andrew Barth Feldman who looks like a 16 year old sitting right over there and you went with the old ass man? In what universe does that make sense? Guess what? It doesn't. Next, we're gonna have to talk about the songs that they cut because they cut what are probably the strongest songs in the entire show. How could you cut anybody having a map? That is iconic, that is classic. And you know what? Maybe you, it was right to be cut from the Dear Evan Hansen movie because now it will never be associated with that dumpster fire of a movie. Same goes for Good For You, that slaps and you had the audacity to cut it. It's like they just got a pair of scissors, had the whole film in front of them and just went, nope, 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 nope. The only song that should have been cut and was cut was to break in a glove because that song is horrible. But every other song they cut and you replaced it with that Amanda Stenberg song that wasn't even that memorable. Which they obviously just made so that Pasek and Paul could win an Oscar. Which guess what? You're not winning an Oscar. Because Oscars go to good movies. The Razzie, I can't wait to see the Razzie nominations for this. Because if it doesn't get nominated in every single category, I might start a riot. Next up, this movie is a walking meme. Because there's this. And this, and most especially, this. That's an actual screen cap from the actual movie. This movie was just so cringe and so dumb that it just has to be a meme. There are so many memeable parts of this that honestly, during when I watched it, the audience was laughing at parts. This movie was not supposed to be funny, but they were laughing because that's how stupid it was. This whole movie was one meme in the worst possible way. If I had a dollar for every time I cringed in this movie, I would buy the rights to Dear Evan Hansen and make a better movie. It's like halfway through the movie, Stephen Jabosky was just like, you know what, F it. Let's just do all this shit and hopefully nobody notices how god awful our product is. News flash, we noticed. Lastly, we're gonna talk about the biggest issue of this movie. And it's just that it is very, very, very problematic. I had a basic idea of what the story of Dear Evan Hansen was going in, but now that I saw it, He's gaslighting an entire family. He's lying to them that he was friends with the guy who committed suicide 
and he did that just so he could get clout and friends and so that people would like him. He was so gaslighting. Britney Spears' dad was probably taking notes. Literally, he was gaslighting them the entire time. Why would you do that? I don't understand. I mean, I get it. You're lonely. You have no friends. But did you really have to gaslight a grieving family? And not only that, use it for clout just so that you can date the dead guy's sister? That's literally so messed up. It's so bad in so many ways that honestly, okay, you know what? I'm done. I'm gonna just stop talking right now because I feel like I've been saying the same stuff for the last 20 minutes. So I'm gonna chill and we're gonna end this video on a good note. And that note being, I never have to see this movie ever again. You know, at this point, they should just stop making movie musicals because either they're bad or they're good but nobody sees them. Like West Side Story, nobody saw it. In the Heights, nobody saw it. Except for probably you and me right now. So you know they should just stop making movie musicals, just stay, stay musicals for the stage, honestly. So that's my video for you guys today. I hope you all had a good laugh. Do you have any suggestions for videos you wanna see from me now that In Real Life is back? I wanna hear about them, comment them down below. And yes, I will see you guys for our next video. And I should come up with a schedule really, really soon. I should be coming up with one, but yeah. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you like, make sure to subscribe and the like button down there. My last videos are to my left and to my right and down in the description on my social media stuff. Like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram. Until next time, guys. See ya.